Top 5 Ghosts Caught on Camera Ghost Chases Dogs This clip went viral after being posted to the video site LiveLeak with the caption, Ghost Chases Two Dogs. The original post reads, This girl was dog sitting for a family friend when she recorded this video to send to the owner to show that the dogs are doing well. She was alone at the time of the recording and did not notice anything strange until she read his response. Get out of the house and call 911. You see, when the owner received the video, he noticed a strange figure lurking in one of the rooms at the end of the hallway, apparently not seen by the girl filming the video. The image almost looks like a freakish shadowy form charging down the hallway. But what do you think it is? Let me know in the comments below. The Stanley Hotel's Guess The Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado may be best known as the inspiration for the Stephen King book, The Shining, which tells the story of a man named Jack Torrance who goes insane from the influence of the ghostly residents of a haunted hotel. King actually came up with the idea for the book after having one of the worst nightmares of his life while sleeping in the Stanley Hotel supposedly haunted room 217. Well, it turns out that Stephen King isn't the only one to have been spooked while staying at the Stanley Hotel. Jessica Martinez Mosling took this picture at the Stanley Hotel, which appears to show the image of a ghostly little girl descending a staircase. There were no young girls on the tour or staying at the Stanley Hotel when the picture was taken. And this isn't the first time one of the Stanley supernatural occupants has supposedly been caught on camera. Just one year before, Henry Yuan captured this photo of what appears to be the ghostly apparition of a woman and child also standing on the hotel stairs. Watcher at the Window Reddit user Skinna555 says that when he was growing up in his parents' home, he would have ultra-realistic sleep paralysis dreams where he would see a faceless person peering into his bedroom window with their hands cupped to the glass. So Skinna555 posted about an odd occurrence while staying over at his childhood home while his house was being remodeled. One night, while he was alone in the house, he decided to post several videos to Snapchat, showing his friends the three Australian native birds that his parents kept as pets. Right, so the first one of my parents' little birds is this little guy. It is little Leo, he's a cockatiel. The second little bird uh, of my parents is a rainbow lorikeet, his name is Oliver. And there he is. And here I am with my good little mate, Puffin. 15 minutes after uploading his videos to Snapchat, he received a text message from one of his friends that read, those birds are mad. By the way, what the f was that in the window behind you in the last one? Not knowing what his friend was referring to, he watched his Snapchat videos back several times. At first, he saw nothing. But then, in the third video, he saw it. Someone, or something, appeared to be peering in at him through the screen door. This odd face is not visible earlier in the videos. Skinna555 says that the door leads to a fenced-in backyard that is only accessible via a locked gate. Furthermore, the part of the door that the face seems to be peering through is not glass, but a screen. Therefore, the strange image could not be a reflection. Skinna555 reported that nothing odd occurred during the rest of his stay at his parents' house. Except for the fact that the backyard motion detector lights occasionally seem to just turn on for no reason. Suicide Bridge Cora MK2 is a YouTuber who basically posts helmet cam videos of some of his motorcycle rides and fun travel videos. One night he was riding with friends across Colorado Street Bridge in Pasadena, California. The bridge is nicknamed Suicide Bridge because of the alarming number of incidents of people jumping from the bridge and attempted suicides. Cora MK2 caught this strange footage during his ride. A smiling girl in a floral print dress seems to be standing all alone on Suicide Bridge. He circled back to see if the girl needed help, 
but mysteriously, she was nowhere to be found. And and as you can see here, um, this girl right here, um, she's she's just standing there. She's not walking. She's just standing there, and you can't really see it well on the camera, but she was like wearing this flower dress and. She was just standing there smiling. Very little time had passed and it seemed nearly impossible that the girl could have exited the bridge so quickly. But she was gone. Another suicide off Pasadena's Colorado Street Bridge today. Weeks later, Cora MK2 found this two-month-old article from the local paper, the Pasadena Star News. It seems that a young girl of around the same age had committed suicide from the bridge just two months before this video was recorded. So did Cora MK2 catch the girl's ghost on camera? Was this some strange prank? Or did the girl just exit the bridge really quickly before he was able to turn back? The footage remains a mystery. The Alicoya Ghost the owner of the Alicoya Country Store in Guilford, New Hampshire says that the old building has a dark past. I guess the building goes back to, uh, I heard last night, 1734. Well, they're saying that there's a 14-year-old uh, girl there with her dad, and um, we've been checking into that, and it seems to be that they were trampled by horses earlier in the century. In this unexplained CCTV footage, Heidi Boyd, an employee at the store, can be seen walking into the back room when suddenly a heavy glass serving dish cover flies off the counter and shatters on the floor. At first, Heidi is confused about where the sound of breaking glass came from. But after she sees it, she's more than a little freaked out. When this creepy video was first aired on the local news, many people suggested that the glass container's movement was nothing supernatural but just a simple hoax. They said that the workers had probably run a fishing line through the store's window and yanked the glass cover off the serving dish. Well, the only problem with that theory is that the store's windows are nailed shut. This window doesn't open. Despite attempts to debunk the incident by the Maine Paranormal Society, so far no one has been able to explain the video. Yeah. Seems like be, seems so now, let's just say the cashier didn't put it all the way on. And she just, and maybe in a hurry, just put it on like that. And let's get some vibrations. Watch, watch that one, Jeff. What? Everything else is gonna fall. Nothing. That's yeah, not gonna go. Yeah. 